Welcome to Bank of America. This call may be recorded. To get started, please enter the last four digits of either your ATM debit card number or your social security number or tax ID. Thank you. Your checking account available balance is zero dollars. In a few words, Please tell me what you're calling about. Fraud department. Hey, you're calling about fraud on your account. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Are you calling about a new claim for the status of an existing claim or something else? A new claim. Please tell me the type of transaction. Just say one of these options when you hear the one you want. You can say ATM or press one, debit card or press two, a check or press three. Did you provide your card or account number to this merchant? No. Please note, banking centers will be closed on Saturday, November 11th, and will be open again on Monday, November 13th during their regular hours. Please hold while I connect you. Your call may be monitored for quality assurance. For quality purposes, your call may be recorded or monitored. All of our associates are currently assisting other customers. Please stay on the line. Your call will be answered in the order that it was received. We work hard to protect your account information, and with your collaboration, we can provide you a greater protection. We will never call to ask you to transfer money or provide security codes to resolve fraud. If you receive a request like this, it is likely an imposter trying to deceive you. Get more information at bankofamerica.com backslash security. Here is a helpful hint while you are reviewing third-party transactions. Most chain stores may bill you under a different name. Don't be alarmed. Some merchants have different stores under their umbrella, and depending on their system, they may bill under the parent company's name. If you made a purchase at the documented date and time for the amount showing, all of your charges are valid. Do you see a charge you don't recognize? Do you have other users on your account? If so, please double check with all users on the account to ensure no one authorized the transaction before requesting a fraud claim. Thank you for continuing to hold. The next available associate will be with you shortly. Be mindful of transactions made over the phone or online. 
They may bill outside of your state or country, or even use the parent company's name. Check the amount, date, and time of the purchase. If you made a purchase at the documented date and time for the amount showing, all of your charges are valid. Is the charge that you are calling about a gas station pending charge? Please be aware that many gas stations will pre-authorize your gas purchase for amounts anywhere from $1 to $100 when you pay at the pump. Please note this is a common occurrence and your valid gas purchase amount should bill to your account within 3 to 5 days. Thank you for being patient. We're doing our best to get to your call as soon as we can. And when we do, we'll be ready to give you the help you need. So please keep holding. We'll be with you soon. Thank you. Is your contact information up to date? It's important for us to have up-to-date contact information because we may use email and mobile phone numbers to quickly notify you of any suspicious activity on your account. Please take the time to update your information online at bankofamerica.com. Thank you so much for calling Bank of America Fox Servicing. If you're a client, then running World Class Service is my top priority. You reach Dylan in Arkansas and you may be speaking with the bank. This is uh, James Lesnar Evans. Good morning for you. I do see you are calling in regards to a fraud on the account for your service. Is that correct? Yes, could you repeat that? I'm sorry. I'm having trouble hearing you. Yes, sir, Mr. Evans. I do see you are calling about a claim for you here today. How can I assist on that for you? Oh, I'm calling about a, a fraud claim. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I, I in regards to that claim, how may I assist on that for you? Because I'm calling about this uh, uh, that was on my computer. This uh, it's a some kind of legal order, and that that's just a, a fraud there. Because see, I am not in no kind of uh, ain't nobody. I, I don't owe anybody. As I do apologize, and if a legal order has been placed on the account, we are only receiving it as a third party service from an agent. I know, and I'm and I'm not, and I want to put a fraud charge on that third party service because that third party service ain't nothing but, but fraud. A third party service would not be a fraudulent company, and there is a law agency providing us information on a case that is being provided. Sir, I don't have any case that's a fraud, and I, and I, and I want to put a fraud charge on him, and you let that legal order deal with me because I know it's a fraud. Yeah. I, you, yeah. I, want, I want to put fraud yeah. charges on this young guy, whoever this is. I, because, see, I call that number I, that, 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 that y'all gave me, it ain't nobody else at that number. I do apologize if the number wasn't answered for you. That legal order would be a case. Well, I, don't worry about that legal order. I won't put fraud charges on that legal order because that legal order ain't real. That legal order number of fraud. Say so that would not be that would not be possible. That is possible. That's what it is because see, I know better. That's a fraud. And and they and whoever that is, I ain't got no information on. They ain't sent me no letters in the mail. I ain't got no emails on them. That's a fraud. Now, I want to know where my money went. Sir, I do understand your situation. No, 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 you don't, because I'm going, I want, I'm asking you now to put, to put fraud charges on this deal, uh, right here. Mr. Evans, as I do apologize, this charge is not fraudulent. It is fraudulent. I will put, I, I'll put, the charge is fraudulent, and I'm not, and I, if you don't put fraud charges, I think Bank of America is behind it. Because see, I know I don't owe nobody, and see them ch them charge are fraud, and I'm going. And if you don't put fraud charges on, I'm going to put fraud charges on you. Mr. Evans, I do want to assist. Now I'm just telling you now. I'm, I'm just telling you. You get my money back in here because see, you taking my money. I did. I know it's Bank of America doing it, and see, I'm I'm not going to let that happen. And see, ain't no, I don't owe nobody, and you 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 don't get somebody my card number because see, I didn't even use this card. 
understand your frustration. No, no, you don't understand my frustration. No, uh, you don't. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't understand my frustration because you didn't gave somebody my card number, my my information, uh, and uh, you are doing this. You know, see, you 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 probably is trying to steal my money myself. But uh, like I say, I'm gonna fight this. You know, all the way up and down the road. I understand that frustration here, Devin. You, are you going to put, no, no, I'm asking you a question. Are you going to put fraud charges on this charge like I'm asking, or do I have to go to the governor's office and to the FBI? Sir, as I am attempting to. No, I'm asking you a question. Yes, Can you answer me? Are you going to put fraud charges here, or do I have to go to the, the governor's office and the FBI, because that's where I'm headed next? I'm going to call them. Transaction, it would not be labeled as a no, 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 no. I'm asking you. See, I know it's illegal. So what? What I'm asking you? Are you gonna get put my money back, or I'm doing have to go to the FBI or the government to get it back? Mr. Evans, you are no, no, no. You're not answering my question. All you gotta do is answer my question. Are you gonna put my money back, or do I got to go to the FBI and the government to get it back? Because I'm going. I'm gonna send an email. I'm going. I'm gonna call. So I'm seeing, I, I know better. Now, now, I'm, now, now, I don't want to figure your argument with you all day. I'm asking you a question. Now, you can answer me that and we can get out the phone. You understand your question. No, no, no. Are you going to put the fraud charges on this or this right here? Are you or are you not? It's simple. No, sir. As okay, the then. We, we can hang up there. If you're not going to put the fraud charges, I'm going to get started calling.